is six. Questions on this? Fractions can be frightening for students, especially when it comes to taking tests. I was very nervous about it. I thought I was not going to do very well because I'm not really good with standardized tests, but I thought it was fairly easy. Seventh grader Cami Munoz and other students across the Brooklyn Diocese did well on the statewide math and English exams. New test scores are in and Catholic Academies outperformed public schools in both math and English. In the statewide system, a grade of three or higher on a four-point scale is rated excellent. On the English exam, 54% of fourth grade Catholic students were excellent compared to 49% of public school students. 59% of sixth graders in the diocese scored the high grades compared to 48% in public classrooms. In math, 51% of Catholic Academy fourth graders hit excellent compared to 49% in public schools. Sixth graders in Catholic and public schools got the same score of excellence, 43%. Hania Upton's daughter is applying to high schools. She did so well that we're looking at schools that we didn't even consider before because these scores are so good. She noticed a big difference in state test scores from when her child was in public school. Within the first year, her math score went up 25 points on the Terra Novas. So right away, I knew I had made the right decision. Superintendent of Schools for the Brooklyn Diocese, Dr. Tom Chadzuko, says a key part to the success one-on-one -on -one instruction. It's essential that we meet the children where they are, give them an opportunity to develop and move at their, uh, their pace. Educators use hands-on technology like smart boards and iPads, making tests for students like Cami easy. I understood most of the material that we were given and also we kind of practiced with all of our classes like for the state tests. But the education goes beyond the grade. It's a test score and, and whether we did good or we did worse, at the end of the day, are we meeting the needs of the children entrusted to us? All to build a foundation for the future. Tim Harfman, Currents News.